Good afternoon. Um, my name is Katie Williams, um, and I'm the current Community Education Director for Hopkins Public Schools and the President of the Minnesota Community Education Association. And I want to thank you for the opportunity to be with you today and testify specifically about Subdivision 3, the Community Education Director licensure issue and the change in some of that uh, language. Um, on behalf of Minnesota Community Education Association and our 1,400 members, we are opposed to the pro proposed change that would raise the minimum district population from the current 2,000 to 10,000. A licensed competent director specifically trained in the principles and practices of community education uh, bring a unique and practical knowledge of best practices in community education um, community involvement, engagement, financing, personnel, legal issues, <coughs> and the program scope that meets every community's needs. These issues, among others, are why it's critically important to have a licensed director administering a program in each of our school communities. Um, licensed school administrators are required to demonstrate proficiency in about 100 competencies and of these 84 are core competencies and they're identical for all of the licensed positions in school districts principal superintendent the special education director and the community ed director um, we currently have statutes and rules that emphasize the unique circumstances of each educational program and for that specific reason the state of Minnesota has recognized that there is special training required for each of these administrative positions Currently, um, there are 49 school districts that have populations 2,000 or less, and raising the ceiling to 10,000 would allow 236 school districts out of 340 to operate a community education program without a licensed, trained community education professional. We submit to you that the result would be a dramatic drop in programming for both youth and adults across the state of Minnesota. We can make a correlation based on data collected by the Department of Education that districts, when they invest in a licensed director specifically for community education, produce not only more programming and community engagement, but they're also meeting the needs of those um, communities that do not have a director. <clears throat> community education directors are required by state law to monitor and maintain community education funds and all reserves and are specifically trained for this oversight. As a statewide program, community education and its professionals manage about $39 million in local levy and aid from the state that is entrusted to us by our taxpayers. The good news, um, however, about community education is that this amount um, is provides well over 264 million dollars in services and programs from preschoolers to senior citizens a 675 percent return on your investment we're um, we're a good return on investment program in the state of minnesota this investment provides currently in about two nine hundred thousand adults 1.7 million youth and 285 thousand preschool children annually across the state of minnesota well, why would there be a change now? Um, we would submit that this change in law is unnecessary. There already is a provision in state law that allows for a school district to request a waiver from the Board of School Administrators if a district cannot find a qualified candidate. In 2008, a review of uh, waivers, only 10 school districts requested a waiver of letter of approval for the community education director position. And of those 10, nine were approved and one was denied. In that same time period, there were 14 principal variances requested, um, 11 superintendent variances, and 18 special education director variances. Currently, there are only four school districts that have a waiver or variance for community education director position. <laughs> One assumes then that there are 336 districts who meet that current statute. Based on this information, there appears to be no reason for a change in our statute language. I also have a number of quotes from my colleagues in Greater Minnesota representing Waseca, Rockford, Laverne, Eden Valley, who would also testify here today if they could get here about the quality of their programming and the amount of revenue that they would generate as a result of having a licensed director in their community. 
when the superintendent or a principal takes over those responsibilities, often the, res the, the um, amount of time it takes to run a school or run a school district overtakes the ability to do the programming, the involvement and the engagement of the community to use those funds appropriately. And so for that reason, we request that this um, number stay, continue to stay at 2,000. Community education delivers a sense of community spirit by encouraging active participation in their local communities. And this happens because of quality leadership um, that is fully trained. And thank you for the time to testify before you and I'd entertain any questions. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there any questions?